Welcome. In front of me is an iPhone 14 Plus and today I will show you how you can go through the setup of this phone. So, to get started, uh, once you put it up for the first time you will be presented with this screen right over here where it just greets you in all kinds of dif different languages. And I just oops, swipe up and select our desired language from the list. Now for me, uh, the language that I want to use is right at the top, right here. Uh, then we can select our country or region. For some reason, the default one that it thinks I'm uh, in is China mainland. Uh, that's not necessarily accurate, but uh, you know what? I'm just gonna boop, scroll down, just press on whatever. It doesn't really matter what you select. They don't have quick start, so bring your current iPhone or iPad uh, and use this iPhone to sign in and set up. So this will allow you later on to just transfer over the old data that is on your old device to this one really easily. Uh, now I'm going to be setting it up manually, so I'm going to disregard this and just press set up manually. And I'm going to go through this uh, with the same expectation, exceptions that or expectance that everybody else is doing this. So uh, written and spoken language, we can choose uh, the settings here. So uh, voice, uh, keyboard, and uh, just language in general. And this just gives us a little bit of an overview of what we have already selected, like the preferred language. Uh, you can change them by selecting customize settings if you want to change some of these things, but I don't. So I'm gonna go to the next page, which will require me to connect to my Wi-Fi network. Now, I can either connect to a Wi-Fi network or you can connect this phone to your computer and then do it through either iTunes or just uh, your, if you have a Mac, I assume through Finder. But I'm not gonna be doing this through a computer. I'm just gonna do it by connecting to network. So I'm gonna select my network right here and simply sign into it. Now, I will also mention there is no way of uh, finishing up the setup without choosing one of those options. As the stupid part of iPhone, but I just, you cannot go around it in any kind of way. Now on the next page, we have data and privacy. Uh, contrary to what you might believe, uh, Apple is not a uh, really private on your privacy. Um, so you still got their data on you and it doesn't really matter what you select here. So I'm just gonna go to the next page. Now this will allow me to uh, select a face ID uh, now this will also force me to use some kind of pen uh, on the device. I don't want to really set up any of them, so I'm going to skip this. But if you plan to have it, you can just select continue and then add some kind of pin and also roll in your face. I'll be setting it up later. And it still asks me to create a passcode, but honestly, I don't really want to. So to not set up a passcode, you just select right here passcode options and one of the options here will be don't use passcode. Obviously there is also a couple additional ones like short one or alphabetical one uh, but yeah anyway I'm uh, gonna confirm that I don't want to use it and here we have option to import data so apps and data restore from iCloud backup restore from Mac or PC transfer directly from iPhone move data from an Android or just set it up as new. So for each one of them it would require something uh, different uh, to be done. So restore from iCloud uh, would require you to sign into your uh, iCloud account and obviously have an iCloud backup already created, meaning you already had to have a Apple device previously to to restore it. Now when it comes down to Mac or PC, uh, again you would need to have an older device or maybe this one, uh, it doesn't really matter, uh, but you needed to create a backup on your computer by just plugging it into your computer and either using iTunes or Finder to create that backup. It gets automatically created uh, if you have an i uh, iCloud, oh, not iCloud, uh, iTunes on Windows or if you plug it into your Mac, it also gets automatically created when you plug it in. Now, um, both data from Android uh, will force you to install some kind of application uh, that then Use it, connects these two devices together and allows you to select which one to move over to this device. And then obviously don't transfer apps and data, just sets up as new, which is what I'm gonna be selecting. And on the next page, we can now log into our Apple ID, so iCloud. Now, uh, this is not a requirement, even though you don't have the next or skip button accessible right here. So you can skip this though, it's not very like recommended considering everything that you, uh, can do on this device is 
like kind of locked behind iCloud. So if you're planning to download any kind of apps from App Store, you need to have an iCloud account and uh, iCloud backup, iCloud account, and so on. So I would recommend if you don't have one, create one. Um, if you have, log in with it. I'm just gonna skip it just because for me, it doesn't really matter on this video. So if you're planning to skip it, create new one or whatever the thing is, it's right under, as you've seen, pressing forget password or don't have an Apple ID. And you can then select forget password, which allows you to restore it, uh, create a new one or set up later in settings, which is basically skip. Terms and conditions, obviously you can read them if you are interested in what you're agreeing to. From there, select agree. And we can go to the next page, which is keep your iPhone up to date. So get the latest feature security and improvements automatically. Um, obviously only one option, which is continue. Not like you have a choice here. iMessage on FaceTime. Uh, people can contact you uh, on all your devices with whatever. Uh, you can set it up or not, depending if you want to. I'm gonna select not now. Uh, for you, I would probably recommend setting it up. Location services, just enables them or you can disable them. Uh, this will, or actually, let me rephrase that. Uh, location services are used by apps like, for instance, Google, not Google Maps, uh, whatever maps you have right here. So if you tend to use your phone as a GPS navigation in your car, uh, you probably want to enable it. If you don't, uh, then you can select disable. Now, I'll also uh, add that even if you disable or enable location services, you can change that later on uh, by just toggling it on or off uh, through the control center, I believe. Now, next we have uh, set up cellular. Uh, now, <clears throat> this will be a little bit different if you are in US, just because all the US versions of this uh, iPhone 14s do not have any SIM tray. I'm not in US, I'm in Europe, so for me, I do have a SIM tray. So, yeah, bask in the glory of a uh, SIM tray right here. Look at this. Oh yeah, there's my SIM tray. See that, I can pop in a card. Weird flex, I know. But for everybody uh, else uh, in Europe, you can just pop in a SIM card. If you're in US, you have to use the QR code, or I believe it's just uh, some kind of like numbers that you can put in. Uh, this will basically allow you to utilize your SIM card or SIM, but as a eSIM. So it's not a physical one, it's just like a one that gets loaded through a QR code or a code. Um, now obviously you can also finish up the setup without doing either of those. So now you don't have to insert a SIM card or eSIM, you can just do that later on in settings by selecting right here and skip. Now here we have screen time just uh, gathers data on your usability of the device and just keeps a kind of like an analytic perspective on it. You can select continue, this will start tracking it or you can set it up later in settings. Uh, then we have some a little bit more of analytics. Uh, this I believe does share with the Apple of how you use the device. Then we have appearance, light or dark mode. Choose whichever one you want. It's completely up to preference. If you select it right now, it automatically switches as you can see. I do prefer a light one right here. Then we have display zoom, uh, just basically the size of uh, icons and text. Weird, apparently it doesn't change the text right here. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna select continue. Emergency SOS, so you have a couple of information like uh, press and hold for emergency SOS, so press and hold save buttons uh, and either volume buttons to make an emergency call. Uh, crash detection and so on. Obviously there's nothing to change here so we can just continue. And we have uh, welcome to iPhone so swipe up and you're done with the setup. And with that being said if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.